This is Dr. Dave Maslach talking about reciprocity.com, the sharing economy proofreading platform that I am trying to build. And in this particular video, what I'm trying to do, what I wanted to show you is one of the uh, simple tricks that I found with, with uh, creating tables. So I'm a professor of innovation and strategy and entrepreneurship. We often have to write papers whenever we um, you know, do anything in academia. We write a lot of papers and we put a lot of tables into papers. And uh, there are some really annoying things with MS Word. Um, particularly, one of them is how they deal with tables. And often what ends up happening when you have a large table with many different columns, which happens in academia, um, we have overlapping text, just like in this one that I displayed. I just did this quickly to show you what was going on. And uh, this really is annoying because often what we want to do is make sure that just this, there's just one line here or one um, row instead of this sort of wrapping kind of text. And I wanted to show you how to actually deal with this or how one way that I deal with it. And it seems to work pretty good for the most part, um, particularly when you get larger tables that kind of that that are going to overlap and might go way outside of the page, for example. And somehow sometimes MS Word does that for some reason. And I I just usually use this as a trick to make sure that it works a little bit better. Um, so this is all I do is I go and I click on that and I change. So I go here to um, table properties and it will take you to options. So you go table and then what I'll do is I'll go click on options and it will go to the default um, cell margin. So the top and bottom are normally fine, right? Zeros are fine, but I changed this two zeros on the left and right. That way it will um, butt up against each other whenever you're doing this and it allows you a little bit more control and flexibility. And in these circumstances when you have a lot of text and you just want to add it like this, you could see that everything went back to normal. They're butt up against each other, which is which is great actually because often with tables, with number tables, you want to make sure that there's just um, rows and rows and rows of tables. Um, and the columns are, you don't need a lot of space between them. In fact, what you could do if you remove the, if you re remove the, um, uh, the, the, oh, what am I thinking? Uh, <laughs> if you remove the borders, then it actually often looks really good because other than, you know, a circumstance, a few circumstances which you can manipulate and change, it looks pretty good for the most part, right? There's enough space there when you have a large table with many different data, data points. It's going to look fine because you can duplicate this and you can start to see that there's a pattern between them. And that, that's all that, that matters and it looks great actually in most of my tables. That's the one trick that I've learned with doing these. So I wanted to actually help you out and give that to you and provide this sort of free tip and make sure that everybody is uh, can benefit. So I thought this was really cool. Again, if you like these videos, I put them out. I'm trying to put things out every single day under different topics. So you can look at them, um, the different topics on, um, you know, you can, you can find out, you just go on to the Reciprocity YouTube page, as well as you could check out what I'm doing with Reciprocity. The E is spelled with a three. It's reciprocity.com. The E is spelled with a three. And it's a sharing economy proofreading platform that I'm trying to build and help out uh, as many people as I can. You could watch some of the other videos to see I'm explaining what I'm trying to do with it and trying to help out graduate students and um, many other people that are in need of a service like this because I thought it was really interesting. So that's it. That's all I wanted to say. Uh, again, just change the cell margins. That's going to help you out a lot when you do these tables in MS Word. Um, it's one trick that saved me many times and made things look a lot better when I have many um, large data points in my table. So that's it. Have a good day. Take care. And I'm really looking forward to seeing you on the next video. Bye.